Hello and welcome to Path Made Easy. Today's example is an onchocytoma occurring in the parotid gland. So this is the tumour in question, this is the onchocytoma, and then around that we have some normal parotid, so we can see some ductal structures, the serous acini, and some intervening adipose tissue. Now, an onchocytoma is a benign salivary neoplasm, and as such, we can see that it's fairly well delineated, and it has quite a prominent collagenous capsule in keeping with a benign neoplasm. If we zoom in some more, uh, we can just highlight that thick collagenous capsule. So no worrying features such as infiltration into the surrounding gland. It's, it's very well defined. Um, we can see though that it's quite nodular. Um, this apparently separate nodule here probably would join up with the main mass on deeper sections, but even still we can appreciate that it's well defined. Another feature that we often associate with onchocytomas is prominent vasculature. So we can see here, particularly around the edge of the tumour, we've got numerous blood vessels engorged with red blood cells. But even within the body of the tumour, I can see further prominent blood vessels as well. So this particular onchocytoma has a fairly solid appearance with a hint of a trabecular appearance in places. And then if we look at the individual cells, the oncocytes are often polygonal in shape with well-defined cell borders, and they're brightly eosinophilic with this granular appearance to the cytoplasm. The nucleus will be nice and round and um, not have any pleomorphic features. And generally, I wouldn't expect to see any uh, mitoses in this or any other concerning cytological features as it is benign. Sometimes in onchocytomas, you can see clear cell change. And when that clear cell change is prominent, that might influence your differential diagnosis and make you consider other lesions, both um, of salivary origin or elsewhere that have clear cells. But this particular example is very classic for a typical benign onchocytoma. So just to prove to you, it is all fairly consistent throughout just more and more accumulations of bland oncocytes. The main differential diagnosis with oncocytomas is usually nodular oncocytic hyperplasia. In that condition, I would expect numerous accumulations of oncocytes dotted throughout the gland rather than a single mass lesion. And as I said at the start of the video, oncocytomas have a well-developed capsule but in nodular oncocytic hyperplasia, they don't often have a capsule around the individual oncocytic accumulations. Immunohistochemistry isn't really required to make this diagnosis, but as you'd expect, these cells will be positive for things like PTAH because they're oncocytes um, and also some epithelial markers, but your myoepithelial markers would typically be negative. So this was a salivary oncocytoma. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Path Made Easy. Thank you.